Hi, I'm Daryl Tank. I want to give you a tip today that I think might help you when you're drawing uh, portraits of children. Uh, I'm going to be referring to uh, some things that I use in the five pencil method and if you haven't had a chance to see that please feel free to go to fivepencilmethod.com and take advantage of the free videos. It'll help you understand again what I'm referring to and give a good foundation for uh, this technique. And uh, today I want to be able to talk a little bit about the fact that we're drawing baby teeth and we want to make sure that they stay baby teeth and uh, a couple of little things just to pay attention to. Now, when I'm drawing, I most often will start with my 4H, my lightest pencil. And this isn't going to be about trying to draw a realistic drawing. I just want to do enough that shows you what I'm trying to help you remember when you're drawing children. So let's go ahead and put a few uh, light guidelines. You may not be able to see them too well on the, on the video, but we don't want to have something so dark that it, it, it makes us uh, have to put too much value uh, with it. I don't want to have just a line trying to represent the form of something. I want to be able to work with edges to value. It's one of the very important principles in the five pencil method. Now naturally when we have a baby like this we have teeth that are very small. So there are probably going to be gaps, which is one of the things I want to just bring to your attention. That if you're not, if you're not thinking about it, it's real easy to just start drawing teeth and forgetting that adult teeth are not supposed to be what's in here. I want to try and find out what's in front of what here. We want to clean edge the value so that we can show dimension, what's in front of what, what is shading what. Just get my placement of a few things here. Make it look pretty scary if you just had them all by themselves without a little face attached to this. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go for the darker places. There's, I think I have enough here that we can we can try to start forming some of the values in here. I always start with the darkest places first. I want to be able to have that clean edge so I can go past something very very important ingredient there's probably an overbite here so we probably can assume that the top teeth are in front of the, the lower teeth I know that the top lip has some value in it, but I would probably shade my teeth down as well. Let me go ahead and turn this. I want a clean edge to value here as well. I probably would have developed a lip a little more before I did this, but just because we're doing just such a small portion of this, probably still want to communicate how a shadow works. even a little gum in there. I think I better go to a darker pencil. I'm going to go to my 2H. Remember I was using my 4, 4H there and I don't want to press too hard with that 4H so I'm going to now pick up my 2H so we can go into those darker places back inside the mouth where there's no 
or not much light. And then when we get some of these values increased to a darker level, it gives us a chance to come in there and add a little more value in places that if we had started off with a little value in the teeth, they'd start looking dark actually. So we want to put everything in context and in the right order so that every, every value will represent what it's supposed to represent. And as I keep building this up, I could possibly put darker and darker values in there. So let's go ahead and shade this one down. Let's give a little color in between, a little value in between for the gum. And as soon as I do that, I realize that I could put more in, in the spaces in between, way into the recesses of the mouth. So now I can put that extra value in the gums. which will allow me to put something in the teeth. We don't want any line to represent an edge. We just want edges to value. Very important part of the five pencil method. And so as I start adding more value in the teeth, there's an opportunity for me to darken this up, which allows me to add a little more value in a couple things that are lighter. But now I can show this, and I would go all the way through my pencils if I needed to. So we've used the 4H to 2H. Now we're up to the HB, and I'm quite sure we'd use the 2B as well. But this gives me a chance, again, to come in here and start adding more value. Now, naturally, the lips would have been a little darker, and I probably would have developed those value-wise before I would have done anything in the teeth. But just remember, when we start adding value into these other places, we want, a, we want a, uh, an edge to the value to represent our places where we need to see past, where we need to separate different dimensions, different uh, elements, the teeth from the gums, and going back into spaces in between. But every time I add a little darker value of one thing, it gives me the opportunity to reassess value that I may have put in somewhere else, and now I can bring that up to that level. So now that I have a little more value in the lip, I'm going to go ahead and cast a shadow onto the tooth. It's something that would happen probably whether you see it there or not. And now that I'm doing that, you see that that edge is going away. So I would want to come back up in here, reinforce that a little bit. But I definitely want that lip shading the teeth because the teeth are set back from that edge. So this is, I think, something that might help some of you. I know I've been asked a lot of times, how do you draw baby teeth? Well, this is one of the things that can really help. The teeth are a little smaller in relationship to the mouth. There's spacing in between in most cases. And we want to be able to show a clean edge to value so that we can show dimension and separation between the different elements. I hope that helped you. Uh, this is something again that uh, might help you keep the baby a baby. And I enjoyed showing it to you and I'll have a lot more tips for you. And in the meantime, have fun drawing. <laughs>